Okay, this is a quick one. Uh, I'm going out the door in a minute, but somebody brought it up uh, earlier about uh, medical insurance for the Philippines. Um, it's something a lot of people overlook, which is why they end up selling their houses and stuff uh, when something happens, a motorcycle accident or a heart attack. Because um, I do find Philippine hospitals like to keep you ill. Um, well, they like to keep the life support machine switched on until your money runs out. Um, so. Getting good insurance is important, but can I recommend anybody? The answer is research the forums. Um, the reason I say that is because some of these hospitals and some of the insurance companies work a little bit strange. Um, for example, the hospitals might want the cash up front, then you reclaim it from the insurance company. Um, so you need to go on forums and find out who is the best ones for it. Um, I won't say this this one's good and this one's bad because it's such a um, awkward subject. Uh, it's better asking somebody who's actually used insurance. Um, I, I keep a lump sum for emergencies anyway, um, but at the same time, I've been quite lucky that I'm I'm not had anything major. The worst thing I had was dengue, um, which eventually I just hopped on a plane and went back to the UK. Um, I wasn't infectious, by the way. It was just a case of um, just getting a quick check up in the UK when I went back. Um, and they didn't even know what dengue was. I had to Google it at the doctors. But, uh, yeah, do a bit of research yourself. Now, the other thing that was brought up was Phil Health. Phil Health isn't as good as it used to be. Um, the reason a lot of people use it is it get some in the door of a hospital because sometimes if you've got no insurance no cash they won't take you in but if you've got a filled health card it sort of guarantees entrance into a hospital um, I'm not sure how true that is today but another thing to ask people have actually had to use one recently because they used to cover a lot of your medication but the percentages have dropped over the years um, this is why you have to keep up to date on this stuff because it's always changing you know before it would cover all your medicine that now it's like 15% or something and might not even cover anything these days. If you, it, it may not be worth the investment unless it still does get you in that hospital door. Um, Cause obviously if you're in a bad way, um, you need to get into the hospital and work out your medical bills afterwards. Um, so if PhilHealth will do that, I recommend getting it. But I also recommend having a good hard think about medical insurance um, because a good one will cost you for the whole family probably about £1,500 a year. Um, is it good or bad? It depends how much you use it. Um, peace of mind, it's worth the investment. Um, can you get dentist stuff on it as well? Because then it would actually be offset because you're probably going to uh, have a lot of dentist work that you wouldn't normally do. Uh, you might have your regular checkups. I remember my dentist, um, I was struck off mine because I hadn't been since I left school. <laughs> so when I went to the dentist, he basically said, you haven't been here for over a decade, so you're not on our list. But I got these ones fixed in the UK, uh, in the Philippines. These are actually capped because I have a big gap here on my real teeth. These are porcelain. Um, now that only cost me 20,000 pesos, which is quite cheap. Um, also, they spent a bit of time on it, adapted it. The next next one, and having it all lightened up, getting that beaming uh, Colgate smile. But insurance, take a look at it. Research online. Don't ask for people's opinions or any of that nonsense because they don't know. What you're looking for is the people that have actually had to use insurance. People that have gone there and says, well, I'm with the Blue Cross or whoever, they dealt with all the bills, blah, blah, blah. Great. You know that that's an insurance company that will work with you. Another one might turn around and say, well, we had to get all the money up front and then claim it back. And it took months. That's not what I want insurance for. You might as well have the bloody money in the bank if that's the case. They ain't going to save your life when you, you cash, um, you're short of cash, is it? So go in the forums, research this stuff. And like I said, Ignore the nonsense. There's so many idiots out there with an opinion on everything because they've sat there all day. You're only looking for the people that have needed medical insurance or use medical insurance. 
and they'll tell you which ones were it. Because uh, one will say, this was fantastic, and this one was naff. Somebody will say, well, I went in with uh, something minor, with no insurance, and it cost me this much. And you can get an idea of how much it's going to cost you if you don't have any insurance. But also, if you have uh, any tourist insurance, a lot of them only cover you for the first month. So be very cautious thinking you're covered, because you might not be. Read the small print, check where they cover you for, because a lot of them don't even cover Asia. Um, there's European, the US, there's all sorts, because they have different costs through the medical system. Because um, some of the, um, like the US, is some of the most expensive medical care in the world, which is why even in Europe, I can get travel insurance at one price, but I'll pay extra to go to the US because of the heavier liability on the cost factor for the same medical care. So research this and make an informed decision. Like I said, ignore all the nonsense on the forums where people throw in their opinions. Their opinions are worth nothing. What you want is people that have actually had medical insurance, use medical insurance, and continue to use it, or did they change and have they had a better performance with a new provider? Spend a bit of time on this because if you're going into the Philippines long term and you're in the 60 plus bracket, you're going to want insurance because there's nothing worse than losing everything to you getting sick. Um, maybe you started a new family or brought your family with you and they lose the house, the car, everything that you built up over your years of working overseas. You don't want it happening. In the same way, even if you're younger, there's nothing worse than having a motorcycle crash or something where you're not covered and i'll tell you now if you've got money they will save your leg if you have it they'll cut the thing off and i'm not joking on that that's pretty serious and that's why it's important if you've got cash because money talks in the philippines thanks for watching